Hey, 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 ladies and gentlemen. Hello, hello, hello. Hello, hello, hello. This is Christelle Martinel, as if you wouldn't know. <laughs> and today we have this session that I've been publicizing, Tarot for Beginners. Um, rules of the road. Come into the chat because we have work to do, ladies and gentlemen. So what I'll be doing, and I'll get the ball rolling first, is to, let's say, um, I'll wait till people come in. I don't want to sing or else YouTube is going to, <laughs> is going to block out my videos. So let me show you the decks that I have, first of all. I've got with me my favorite. It is the um, the Golden Dawn, the uh, Initiatory Tarot of the Golden Dawn. This is the one deck that I have. And I have the Universal Tarot because I thought many of you would bring that. And then I have um, a tarot deck that I used in the last readings, which is the Silver Witchcraft Tarot. Let me say hello. Thank you for joining me. Thank you for joining. Courtney, hello. Hello, hello. Neuro Lay, Julie, Sally. Perfect. So what is on the menu today? This. Tarot for Beginners, Rules of the Road. Now, I'm going to keep putting up these messages. I want you to take your cards. Hello there, Nicholas. I want you take, to take your cards in your hands. Voila, <laughs> take them in your hands. Look at them, look at them, literally look at them, feel them, look at the colors. Ask questions and shuffle them and then we open the spread. So what I'm going to do is keep them up there so you remember what we're supposed to be doing. Hi there, Margaret from Newfoundland, Canada. Wonderful. Jules, hello. Unique Soul, hello there. And, oh, I gotta look. <laughs> the Divine Mrs. Jones from Wales. Good for you. So now, um, I hope you have tarot decks. Please tell me you have your tarot decks with you. And we're going to start. Um, Australia, hello there. It's early in the morning, 9 a.m. Pretty good. Sunday morning, 9 a.m. So now, how are we going? Hello from Minnesota. Minnesota. You, if I, you wouldn't believe if I told you I've never been to Minnesota. I am embarrassed. I'm embarrassed. <laughs> Hawaii, good for you. And I've never been to Hawaii. So after we get through all of these hellos and hellos and hellos from Texas, I've been to Texas several times. Nicholas, yes. Okay, now you have your tar tarot in your hand. So let me take the tarot in your... in. It, how many people of you have this deck that is called the Rider Waite, this uh, uh, sort of universal tarot deck, the Rider Waite? How many of you have that? Um, you have your Oracle deck, so it's quite different, the Oracle deck. Wisconsin, hello. Never been to Wisconsin as well. So what I'd like you to do, Oklahoma. My God, I've never been to Oklahoma. And this is, I, I always say, now where exactly is Oklahoma nested in between which states? I think I know where. You know, that's a typical question. Now, um, when I talk about rules of the road, let me go back here. Um, let, when I talk of rules of the road, all right. Um, what we're going to do is is sort of try to make rules in relation to what we're looking at, so it'll be easier for us. So I'm going to start by waiting for a question from you, and keep that on the the desk there. Those um, those those directions, Margaret. Hello. Um, oh, Morgan Greer, that's the um, the tarot deck you have, the Golden Dawn. Okay, Guided Tour Tarot. Okay, 50 decks, that's great. So then we've got people who are hot here. Hot, hot, hot. Good, good, perfect. Gilded Tarot, all right, all right, all right. Now let's get, let's, um, let's start like this. I'm going to start with, um, because I, I ran the poll, you remember that, 
and I asked, which is the, the question that you would like, the issue you would like to be best um, to, to, you know, what will you want me to concentrate on? And everyone said um, the sequences, the meanings of the sequences of cards. Now, they have meaning only in relation to the question, okay? So let's say um, I'm going to ask everybody in the room one question, okay? Um, and the question is, was it a sunny day where you lived? Now, you know where you live. You know the answer because you've, you've been there. Is it a sunny day now? Is the sun out? We're not interested in, in the clouds yet. The question is, is it a sunny day today or will it be a sunny day today? And but you've already, you already know that answer. Okay, so now we get the cards out. Let's take our cards out. Let's, I'm going to take the Rider Waite cards and tell me, put out three cards, three cards, and we'll see what the answer, how we can um, interpret the answer. I'm not answering personal questions, um, uh, Livia. I'm not answering personal questions. We're answering questions in relation to the tower. We're learning here, all of us, no matter how much, um, how much, you know, experience we have. So, in Rome, was it a beautiful day? Was there sun today? And I put my three cards. All of you do the same. Okay, now, I'm going to show you these cards, and then I want you to ask me questions in relation to what you're looking at, your cards, what you are looking at, okay? So the first card I have is the death card, is the death card. Then I have the two of coins, the death card, the two of coins, and then this card three of swords. Now, most of us in the room, let, let me just speak for everyone, then you can tell me. Most of us in the room know that the heart, the three of swords, and piercing through the heart usually talks about emotional pain, okay? All right. Um, then we know individually now, I'm talking individually, and then we know most of us in the room that the death card signals an ending of something and a beginning of something, and it depends on the cards nearby, correct? So in this three card spread, I've got this two of um two of coins. Now, the two of coins has many meanings. The two of coins, as the picture in the Rider weight deck say, um, you're juggling something, something is changing, there is a change, there is something changing, okay? Now, I have, let me look, yes, the, the death card is a Scorpio card, but that doesn't have any relation to my question, right? So the question was, was it sunny today? I asked in my residence in Rome. And what I'm looking at is that there was change during the day. And I'm responding to my own question because I know what it looked like there was some it rained all night when people got up at about uh let's say six seven eight it was no longer raining and then the day became wet again cloudy and wet you can even see the clouds here there was sun on off during the day. Now, 
I'm looking at Margaret. Let me show you what she has written. All right, so Margaret Crawford writes, she has the Seven of Cups, the Four of Cups, and the Four of Pentacles. So Margaret, tell us, what was the weather like in your where you live? Was there sun based on what you're looking at? Now I'm reminding you that the Seven of Cups, the Seven of Cups, remember what that card looks like. If you can look at your decks, everybody, pull out the Seven of Cups and you'll see what it looks like. And it's a card in almost in all of the decks that I know, it's a card that gives you sort of the embarrassment of choice. Some of the cups are uh, tilted, some of them are fallen. Here is the Seven of Cups from this Universal Tarot. So that was Four of Cups, Seven of Cups, hang on. Four of Cups, Seven of Cups, hang on. Four of Cups, Seven of Cups, and Four of Pentacles. So we have this card here. Margaret talks about a lot of things to choose from. And my guess, and you let me know, you said it was sunny all day. Here, there's a lot of things to choose from. Now, there, this, the, the question is, when you have, uh, and I'll explain this, when you have three different cards, it not, it's not necessarily the case that all of them have to answer your question. Okay, so let's say the Four of Cups and the Four of Coins. Um, where the Four of, when you usually have coins, the, the coins almost always talk of light, all right? So they, they usher in light. Usually the Seven of, um, usually the Seven of Cups is indecision indecision, looking at so many things. And it's my guess, Margaret, that in the early hours of the morning, there was uh, the sun trying to peep through. And then it came, uh, then the sun came most of the day. I have Sally here. And she says that there were, there's um, three swords, the king, the eight and the seven of swords, rainy, drizzly, then dry. Okay. Um, the, let's say that the seven of swords is a card that talks about difficulties, right? They are talk, they talk about difficulties. The king of swords is a, a king that's very, very fast. And the eight of swords is blocking you and you may not be able to go out because it was raining. So let's say that, um, everything, let's see what else we have, um, Sally. Okay. We got, we had Sally's. It was sunny all day. Then we've got incognito. Incognito says the 10 of pentacles, the nine of cups and justice. My guess is incognito that it was, um, beautiful all day with that, with that nine of cups, nine of cups usually gives us a big yes in relation to the question. The question was, um, was it a sunny day? You know, and, and again, when I talked about the pentacles, pentacles are light. Um, and okay. Margaret says it was iffy. All right. Then we've got, um, we've got Nicholas, Nicholas. I'm trying to bring you on stage here. <laughs> Nicholas says the page of pentacles, the three of swords and the moon. Okay. Now, um, let's say that from what I've said so far, we could see that the page of pentacles may be a card that brings light. So we could say that it was probably sunny, at least in the er in the morning. I don't know where you're from, Nicholas, but uh, let's say that it's probably afternoon where you are now, I think. And the three of swords definitely mean is a worsening of a situation and the moon is change. The moon are cycles. So it looks like to me, Nicholas, and you let me know, it may have been um, changeable. Mar uh, Incognito says, cool and dreary. Boy, were we off. Ten of pen pentacles. Ah, the justice card. Okay, the justice card, probably. The justice brought us back. See, now this is another question. 
we get three cards and there is a major arcana there's one major arcana we have to say that the major arcana is um trumps all the rest it is the most important card in the deck um all right and nicholas says bingo yeah we got that right well one out of um let's say that four out of five is not bad incognito you're putting us to the test we'll have to try a new um a new um question neurolay how does it work with oracle cards i can't talk about oracle cards now because we're talking about um the tarot um i i don't know what kind of oracle cards you have every oracle deck is different um you know i can't address that here that's why you know this was just for tarot tarot for beginners i will in this um let's say in this group of videos i can uh, from one time i could address the lenormand cards for example we could talk about the lenormand cards we can talk about la vera sibila but there are so so many oracle cards that many of them have written on on the the card itself certain messages and that's why i don't need i i can't address it because everyone has different things um uh let's say margaret cranford let's say where did i put you um let's see there you are margaret says we came out of a state of emergency today after 126 centimeters of snow a great day to immerse after being shut in for seven days where's that where is that margaret okay so jules says perfect all right now this is jules has the four of wands the magician and the star there are two major arcana okay now it's difficult for me to say but there is that four of wands the four of wands is typically um a house and it means the house being undercover usually the magician is probably um well the star is a clear sky for sure the magician usually tells us that it didn't even mean anything to you jules because rain or shine you were fine as the saying goes rain or shine you were fine so to me it seems that there may have been sun there may it looks like there must have been sort of four seasons it could have been because everything that happened during the day it looks like it wasn't unpleasant you let me know jules um okay so neuro lay um neuro lay says this is your first deck vintage wisdom oracle yeah there's so many i don't have all the you know i have say i have about 12 different oracle decks but they are so so different but when you it's like how can i put it it's if you travel around the world if you know the english language you have open doors if you know the spanish language you have open doors if you know chinese many doors are open if you know tango argentine tango and i can vouch for that everywhere you go there's an there's a um it is an a universal language and you don't even have to talk that's the same thing with the tarot if i go to russia and i say well do you read the tarot they would say yes and they would have their tarot cards i could understand what's happening if they lay the cards in front of me because there is this universal nature but with the oracle cards no that it would be more difficult um let's see i have felicita ah uh, felicita latina here i have the seven of pentacles the three of pentacles in reverse and the high priestess okay for those of you this is one of the rules all right so you might want to think of this um one of the rules concerns reversals now those of you who know me and have been on my channel a long time know that i don't read reversible reversals why i'll make a long story short my eyesight is very bad <laughs> and i chose to make the um to only stay with upright cards because i realized that a card that could be let's say a positive card like the sun would take on a negative connotation depending on 
the cards surrounding them and with clarifiers. That's my, uh, my system. But if you use reversals, you'll see that here there's this three of pentacles reversed. Now, Felicita, what is your uh, feeling about the day from the cards that you see? Tell us. Ah, okay, so Felicita lives in Antwerp in Belgium. Knowing how Antwerp is, I won't say anything. So you tell us what it was like. Okay. Um, Nero Lay asks, and this is a really good question for everybody. This is really, really important. All right. So say you don't have a tarot deck. Um, anyone who will be, uh, uh, who knows how to read tarot will say the same thing. I can safely say, they'll say, look, you go into a, sh either you have someone give you a gift as a tarot, a tarot gift, or if you're actually going to purchase one, go to a shop, an esoteric shop. And many times they'll have a, a binder with cards inside where you can flip through them and see all the different kind of decks. And when you see a deck that really speaks to you, I think that's the deck neural lay because I don't, I'm not a subscriber to the idea of the Rider Waite. I don't care for the Rider Waite deck. And I'll tell you why. Um, because the Rider Waite deck was, let's say it was um, publicized all over the world. And um, probably that is the first deck that people learn about. And the meanings are so straight and set in their ways that many readers don't see the nuances um, under, you know, the different kinds of meanings uh, that uh, those cards can have and tarot in general. So I myself say that I, I'd rather stay away from those decks. But Neurolay, you let me know. And if you have doubt, write to me at readings. Readings at christelmartinet.com if you have a choice between a few and maybe we can I can give you a suggestion. Um, Margaret, let's say Margaret, you Margaret is saying you're saying neither do I, neither do you have a tarot deck. Is that true? Um, Felicita is smiling and and we know what it looks like in Antwerp is a beautiful city. I love Antwerp. I have I have some friends there at the university and um in antwerp it's it's a gray sky i mean it's a northern gray sky usually and it's humid but um but when the sun comes out in belgium everybody's happy <laughs> everybody's happy <laughs> everybody's happy okay so now let's try um well, let's see margaret has margaret has um told us this so the seven of cups, four of cups and four of pentacles makes great sense after being shut in for seven days with not knowing when the weather would change. And then it balanced today. Good. All right. So now let's get, um, let's say we'll go under the surface. Hi there, grounded expressions. Let's go to, um, a question that one of us, one at a time, will try to answer if, you know, as much as time will allow us, a personal question that has a yes, no answer. Okay. Uh, let's say, um, I don't know. I haven't heard from him for a week. Will they be calling me, writing me, communicating with me next week or something like that? Okay. So let's wait for your questions and, um, we'll look at the cards for a yes, no answer. All right, let's see. Come on, all of you ladies and gentlemen, pull up those questions. You must have thousands of questions. I started uh, by saying, wait, we had one in the beginning and I said, no, I can't answer personal questions, but this may be the time. Um, San Diego, hello. All right, we have um, someone said, someone said, someone said, someone said, I have no guided tarot, um, gilded tarot. Uh, let's see. Should I move my residence? All right, let's take that question, Livia. All right. So Livia asks, should I move my residence? Okay. Now, uh, we'll take our cards out 
And this time I'm going to use the Gilded Tarot of the Golden Dawn. Everyone in the room, try to lay, uh, let's just lay one card this time. Or, well, let's lay, let's leave it at three. Okay, let's leave it at three. Um, should Livia move her residence? Let's put three cards out. Ah, Nicholas, you have 35 as well. <laughs> well I've got well over 35 in this place. Yeah, I'm, I'm, start, I'm going to have to start giving them away. Maybe I should, um, maybe I should do a raffle in, in uh, a live raffle one time and, and give away, say, 10 different decks. Okay. So it should Livia move her residence. All right. Does anyone, has anyone else laid the, um, uh, has, has already laid some cards before I lay them? Uh, the Divine Mrs. Jones. I read Tower for a Living and have numerous decks. Good. Okay. Come on, Mrs. Jones. Put out the, um, put three cards and tell us what you find for Livia. What does, should she or should she not move her residence? Let's see. Oh, I'll tell you what I got. I'm waiting for, I'm waiting for Mrs. Jones to tell us what she has. <laughs> I'm going to hide my cards. <laughs> Come on, Divine Mrs. Jones. Where are you? Where are you? Okay. Now, I'll show you my cards. All right, let's go first with um, Livia. Um, I've got the Four of Cups. The Four of Cups. I've got the Wheel of Fortune, and I have the Sun. My answer is a big fat yes, because remember I told you the, the Major Arcanas always trump the, the, the uh, minors, and here I have two beautiful majors, which really do speak a loud yes. All right, so now let's see, what does Nicholas have? Nicholas says he has the Ace of Pentacles, Seven of Pentacles, and Five of Pentacles, Three Pentacles. Nicholas, what do you think? I'll wait for you to reply. Um, and Jules has, and Jules has the Nine of Swords, the Universe or the World, yeah, and the and the Price of Coins all reverse, the Prince of Coins, okay, all reverse. Okay, so Jules, you tell me what you think, and Nicholas, you tell me what you think. Then we have one last one. I'll put them all three of them up so we get um, and Sally. All right, Sally, we have the Five of Cups, the Two of Swords, and Strength. It does, I mean, it's not going to be an easy thing. Uh, it really is not going to be an easy thing. But I definitely have a, net, a yes. What does Nicholas say? He says yes, but be patient. Yes, exactly. I think the same thing. You have to be patient. Um, Tara Hadley, strength, the star, and the high priestess. Yeah, it looks like everybody's pointing to a yes. Let me pull out Tara. Tara. Uh, let's see. Tara has... Jules, tell me what your answer you think is. And Sally, strength, the star, and the high priestess. Three major arcanas. Tara, what do you think? Okay, so Jules says, no, don't rush it. Don't rush it, but it looks like a good move. Because why? Why do I say that, Jules? Remember what your cards were like, all right? You said the nine of swords and the world and the prince of coins all in reverse. So the Nine of Swords is a nightmarish card. It's fear. There's a fear of changing residence, but it's in reverse. The world is in reverse. That talks of travel sometimes and the Prince of Coins all in reverse. It's not, it, The reversals don't necessarily give you a negative response, Jules. Um, Tara, what do you think? We've got Clara, uh, Clara, Claire here. The Fool, Three of Pentacles and Nine of Pentacles. Claire, it looks like a yes to me. What do you think? What do you think? And so let's see. We've got, um, we have here 
Sally says, worried, but be brave. You'll be fine. Yes, exactly. Exactly. Um, we've got grounded expressions. Page of Pentacles, Eight of Wands, and the Tower. Yes. Okay. So the Eight is a very fast moving card. Re remember, the Eight of Wands is a very, very fast moving card. The Page of Pentacles does talk of the desire and perhaps the opportunity, but the Tower is a card that talks of problems if you rush in because of that eight. And then the two of swords on the bottom. So the decision needs to be pondered well under that. Um, let's hear Tara. I think that you should be saying yes. Yeah. Um, Tara says hers, it's going to take inner strength to get over a few obstacles, but it's a great thing. We're all giving you a big yes. Yeah. Let's see, Margaret. Margaret, what does she say? Eight of cups, nine of cups, and the hermit. Feel yes after contemplation, deciding to, to walk away. It is a wish come true. Yes, it is. There's this eight of cups that talks about long, long time coming. The idea has been long coming coming, long and coming. Remember also that the nine of cups is almost always a yes card and then the hermit, but the hermit ponders, thinks about it. And it's telling you, take your time before deciding. Um, let's see. Let's see. Let's see. Let's see. Um, Tara. Tara says the bottom of the deck is the eight of swords. We were batting a hundred. Tara, you shouldn't have gone that way because when the three cards in a row, and I'll tell you why. All right. Um, Tara says the bottom of the deck is the eight of swords. She had those three beautiful major arcana, beautiful cards. All right. Now, what's good about it is that you have one, two, three, the objective where well, you started. This is another rule of the road. When you're laying cards, you have to be set in your mind how you're going to lay them. You want to just pull them out as they come freewheeling, okay. Or you say to yourself, we're going to push, we're going to lay three cards. Just like I said in the beginning, we're laying three cards. If after you lay the three cards, you have a doubt, then you go from under the deck and put another card there. Otherwise, you don't have to do that. Um, and you shouldn't, as in this case, the Eight of Swords, almost Tara told you something like, you shouldn't have done that, you know? <laughs> you shouldn't have pulled that card from underneath. Okay, then we have the High Priestess. We've got, I'll just pull out these last two, the High Priestess, King of Cups, and the Tower in Verse. This is definitely, first of all, those two major arcana, when the tower, the tower is reversed, it's always much more positive than when it's straight up. The High Priestess tells you of hidden, um, all right, now this is, a, it, this is something I need to say. You've got these three cards like Giggle Glimmer says, right? Now, the King of Cups, right in the middle there, right in the middle, right in the middle there, <laughs> is always a benevolent card, sweet, soft, emotionally calm. On the side here, on this side and on that side, you've got two cards and we call this mirroring. They're mirroring because they're on two opposite sides. So they have a meaning that is complementary. What is the high priestess? The high priestess is a card. We need to remember that. And as we do these sessions on uh, tarot for beginners, you might want to take a couple of notes, but the high priestess is similar to the moon card because uh, she hides things. She doesn't give us full out straight answers. And in this case, when she's paired with that tower, the t and in reverse, the tower is almost always difficulties, whether it's upright or reversed. Reversed is less difficulties. But with the two mirroring each other, they're talking of hidden issues, hidden problems that come out when you, um, as the process begins. So be expecting. The cards are telling to, saying to you, look, expect difficulties. They will arise. But the King of Cups is telling you it is definitely a positive decision 
for you to make. Just beware, be ready for those hidden, uh, hidden difficulties. All right, now let's see. Um, there's another question. Um, hang on. Let me, let me first give, get close. This is Sarika. Hello. All right. Let's see. Margaret says bottom of the deck is the tower. However, the tower brings change and resistance to change. Okay. Now let me get another question. All right. So Vanessa here, we're away from this moving and Vanessa asks, should I take the contract extension I'm about to be offered or do I try a new path? Now, with this question, Vanessa, of course, we're in a room with a lot of people and we don't know each other, but I don't know if you're talking about a contract extension. Is it a work contract? What kind of contract? So just as, just for us to be contextually, you know, in, in the moment for us to make it easier for us to understand. Okay. Let me. I'll put it down until Vanessa clarifies. Um, Giggle says, then should the high priestess be clarified? Um, it's fairly clear. Those three, you can, of course, clarify if you like to. I always do, and I think you can. And you may want to clarify with an oracle deck, but you can clarify with a different tarot deck because... Let's say that you're using one tarot deck. I'm using these tarot decks and I have these three cards on the table. I want to clarify this four of cups here, the four of cups. But to clarify, I will take another deck because perhaps the same cards will clarify that. So you need all of the decks. You need all the cards in the decks. All right. So um, in this case, Giggle, I don't, it didn't seem to me that it needed to be clarified, but if you want, this is up to you. All right. And of course, if you're not, you don't understand what you're looking at, always pull more cards out until it speaks to you. Um, um, all right, hold on a second. All right. So Vanessa clarified it's a work contract and she's asking us, should she, let me get her the question on the table is, I'll put it on my table. <laughs> Should I take the contract extension I'm about to be offered or do I try a new path? All right. So there are two questions in there. All right. So let's say that we can take this as a, let's, there are two ways we can do this. All right. We'll use it as a, a yes, no question and we'll pull three cards or we can pull three cards for the contract extension on this side and three cards for the new path on this side. All right, so let's start. We already did the yes, no. Let's try three and three. Mixing the cards. Another rule of the road is when you mix your cards, whether they're tarot, whether they're oracle, whatever they may be, is is this you go mix until you feel it's comfortable you need to cut the deck with your left hand okay so you cut it with your left hand it's just a universal for readers they usually cu cut with the left hand so on this side is the the extended contract and on this side is the other path now I'm going to show you the cards and then you, ladies and gentlemen, you, 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 tell me what you think. All right. So the contract, the extended contract is here. There's the judgment card. Let's pull her away so you can see that that's the judgment card. There is the eight of swords and this is the chariot. Now I'm going to show you them how I'm looking at them on the table. All right. So, so you can see that this card, the chariot is moving into this eight of swords. All right. So that's what I'm looking at when I look at my cards. Um, hold on now the path, the, the other path, should she take the extended contract or should she take the other path? I have here the star. This is the other path. 
the Hermit, and the Ace of Coins, the Ace of Coins. Now, there, the way they came out, you can see in this spread, there is the Hermit in the middle, and in this, we've got that Eight of Swords in the middle. So, the Eight of Swords usually tells us don't move or you're unable to move or it's best not to move but there's immobility S the status quo would be the answer okay however there are two major arcana which tells you as there are two major arcana here so the question is urgent the question is important and this is why she's asking us in this first extension of the contract, I see that it's an important issue and it's now or never. You may wait, may want to wait for something better that will be coming fairly soon. The other path is and when we have the ace of coins it is one of the most beautiful cards it's i i like to consider it a yes card myself then we have the hermit and this oops this um <laughs> the star the star now we've got these two major arcana the star the hermit and the star and this definitely tells us there are opportunities coming this tells us that we need to ponder the opportunities and the star tells us you know that you will you'll be guided in another path towards another path. Now, of these two, I it looks like to me that you should perhaps wait, but even the first extended contract isn't that bad. It's not as bad. It's really not that bad. Um, now, there's a, as I was talking, there were a lot of questions. Hang on, hang on, hang on. Let me. Um, you're welcome, Giggle. Um, Vanessa's work contract. Let's see what Margaret says for, about Vanessa's work contract. So the, the extended contract, the Page of Pentacles, the Page of Cups, and the Three of Wands reversed. Now, the Page of Pentacles brings opportunities. Of course, the Page of Cups does as well. And the Three of Wands is something that is, uh, is, is working, is, is you take stock of something. If it's reversed, you're unsure. So it's still iffy. It looks like she's not sure. And this is why she's asking. But if we look at these other cards for the, the other path, it really, really looks good. Um, and Ma Margaret says, yes, she's getting the other path as well. Uh, let's see the other and Mary uh, Maria Maria Krupp the other path and isn't it wonderful there's all these minds and and, and it comes out it's uh, I wish we could always do readings like this <laughs> Sally Mater says yeah take the other path <laughs> um, let's see Nessuno hold on Nessuno where are you um, hang on Nessuno there you are Nessuno I would like to see a clarifying card between these two paradigms well all right now if i let's say nisun if i want to clarify both of them i can't do it between them but i can clarify one and i clarify the other or you pull three more cards and see what they try to tell you but i at this stage with all of you here i would prefer you to I would prefer us to clarify. So I'm going to use under the deck, the cards under the deck that were already um, have were already mixed, right? So to clarify, I've got for the first extended contract, I've got here the seven of swords. Let me pull away from the Suno. Um, I've got the seven of swords. I've got the nine of coins and the three 
of, uh, sorry, this, yeah, the Three of Cups. And the Three of Cups is celebratory, of course, and the Nine of Coins. But see, they're saying to me the same thing because this Seven of Swords is always um, an indecision. You're not sure about going forward. If you get that extended contract, of course, there will be more money. You will be happy. That is a change. There's something to celebrate there. Now, if I clarify, I hate to turn these upside down. If I clarify the other path question, I get the knight of swords the knight of swords i get the queen of wands and i get the queen of swords i've got the knight of swords the queen of this is you know they're they're pulling me through a power it's it's, it's as if there's power here there's speed and power even if you wait here this will be moving quickly once you've chosen that path it seems that you know, I have to say that my my intuition is bringing me to this other path, whatever that path may be. Um, let's see, Moonlight. Yeah, and um, let's see, Moonlight. And Nicholas also says the other path. Moonlight says, I say the other path. Ten of Wands reversed, Six of Swords, and the Knight of Swords um, for the contract. Or the path, you have the King of Swords, Knight of Cups, and Five of Pentacles. Yeah, it looks like we're we're all in agreement, most of us. Um, I think everybody who's um, said something had... Um, all right, now, hang on. We've got... I think we can put that question to rest. I'm getting tired of that contract business. <laughs> okay, um, now we've got... I'm going to take the questions as they come in. So... I'm, I'm going to take incognito. Will I manifest a new job offer in 2020, February 2020? So this is a yes, no. Okay, so we're, we're experts at the yes, no. Remember, mix, mix, mix the cards. Shuffle, shuffle, shuffle. Shuffle, shuffle, shuffle. I'm waiting for everybody to do that same thing. Um... And for the other, I'm hearing, looking at Neurolay, the clarification for the new path is gratitude, change, playfulness. Good. Exactly. That's, that's what we want with an Oracle deck. Um, let's see. Let's see. Let's see. Hang on, I, I'm listening. I'm looking at Nicholas saying, in renewing, I got you might be a little bored. I didn't understand that. No, I'm never bored. I never get bored. <laughs> I didn't understand what you were saying. Um, I want to ask my crush. He will, I can't understand that, Nick. Uh, Majok, I don't understand what you're writing. I want to ask my crush. He will contact me. I can't understand that question. But we're working with, will incognito manifest a job offer in... February 2020. One, two, three. All right, we're going to do this first. All right, now I don't even read uh, uh, opposite, you know, reversals, and the mind came out. I always mix them the right way. Let's see. We've got incognito, we'll go into your cards. We've got the Queen of Wands. Then we've got the High Priestess. And then we've got the Justice card, the Judgment card. Now, I believe that we've understood that similar to the moon, the high priestess might warrant us to get another clarifier, right? And I'm going to pull a few clarifiers. And the question was, uh, let's see, let's see. The question was incognito. Uh, la, 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 la. Will I manifest a new job? All right, so the clarifiers I have are the Knight of Wands, Knight of Wands, the Six of Cups, and the Knight of um, the Knight of Swords. You know, it looks like to me that you, Incognito, believe that February is the right time, but I'm getting that there it, it might it might shift further down it might shift further down i'm trying to find a uh, manifest a new job offer it looks like it's coming down further it is coming soon after february this is what i 
I'm looking at. Let me see other people. Um, uh, ah, about the contract, Nicholas. Yeah, I get. Yeah, I was. I had enough of that. Um, let's see. Incognito's answering her own question. The magician, Ace of Pentacles, the Nine of Pentacles, Queen of Pentacles, the Star. Incognito. What could I say with those cards? It's a big yes. It's yes, 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 and yes. Absolutely. If you keep it up, Incognito, keep that message in your head. You'll be manifesting it yourself. It's absolutely perfect. The magician does that. He's a manifester. Um, all right. So then we have Claire. Claire comes up with the nine of cups, the nine of, nine of wands and the king of swords. All right. Now we've got that difficult nine of wands. You know, the knight of wands is a heavy burden. Almost. If I went to you, Claire, with that question, I would look at that and I would say, hmm, yes, you do manifest something, but it's not what it's, it's a, it's something that has an extra amount of responsibility with that nine of wands, the heavy burden, the nine of wands, those nine wands are heavy. Um, and it's just, it won't fly with you. That knight of swords, you want something better. You want something better. You want something that's, that's more meant for you. Um, all right. Now let's do something. Let's do, um, Let's go. Well, there's so many love interests here. Let's go. Malak, before you, I didn't understand you. Now I have, I have someone I'm, I think I'm thinking about him. Will he contact me? All right. So will, can you give us a first name, Malak? I always ask, give us a first name so I can contact, I can con concentrate better. What is his first name? What is his first name? We've got the question, Malak. All right, Nicholas. Um, Nicholas says that he has the lover's moon. There's that moon again, the queen of pentacles, and the clarifiers, the four of pentacles, the world, and the devil. The devil is just something that you don't want to see. I would put another card out for that devil. The four of pentacles really does talk about... Um, coming out of your ashes. This is not bad at all. The lovers does talk about that choice. The queen of pentacles is someone who moves slowly, moves slowly. Um, the world is a mover. It goes, you know, but there, there it's not conclusive though. Um, I feel Nicholas with these cards, I wouldn't have been able to get a, um, so, okay. So Saud, so the, the name of the person will Saud contact Malak. Will Saud contact Malak? Now, this is a um, yes or no. Okay. So, and I hate to, I hate to say, you know, I, I don't want to give you bad news, but if it's bad, I'm going to have to give it to you. Okay. So let's see. Okay. Sarika says no for now. Why? Sarika, tell us what are, um, the, the cards that you have. All right, let's see if Saud is going to contact Malak. Sarika says she's got that, and she says um, she would say yes. Two of cups in reverse, four of cups, and the four of swords. You would say no for now, exactly, um, at least for now, because there is that four of, of swords that talks of a delay, but what troubles me, Sarika, is that two of cups in reverse. It almost mm -hmm. tells you that they're not interested. Can you clarify that uh, two of cups in reverse, Sarika? Clarify that. Clarify that. Let's see. I'm going to put three cards. Now I'm curious. Now I'm really curious. Let's see. Really curious. Let's see. One, two, three. Of course, I don't put the uh, reversals up. So let's see what Sarika says. Okay, she hasn't got her clarifier yet. I've got the Knight of Swords. The Knight of Swords. Let me pull this away. The Knight of Swords. Then I've got the Two of Cups. But after the Two of Cups, I have an Eight of cups. See that eight of cups, the man is walking away. And it does tell us that you are thinking a lot about that. 
and they may be as well. This is a two of cups, but that it looks like walking away to me. It does look like walking away. Um, any other, let's see, let's see, Claire. Claire says, two of pentacles, seven of swords, ace of swords, all in reverse. You say no, yeah. Now, why do we say no, Claire? Why do we say no? They're, they're all in reverse, okay? So the two of pentacles, what did we say before? The two of pentacles talks about change, perhaps. And the ace of swords is the card that talks about truth, really. Um, and the seven of swords is difficulty. There's always difficulty. Maybe um, you with yourself and they are, they are unsure. They're difficult. It's difficult. It does look like it's a no. Um, let's see. I'm sorry to say uh, that mu that is a no. Um, it's see, Sarika, you said that it seems that this person could be in another relationship. Yes, it could be. We would need clarifiers for that. We would need clar clarifiers for that. Um, let's see. I've got another question here. Uh, Claire says, yeah, we just said that. Sorry, got the wrong one up. All right, so we've got uh, Mika. Mika says, trying to make a career pivot. All right, trying to make a career pivot. What actions can I take to assist as I'm coming up empty? Now, this isn't clear, the question. What actions can I take to assist as I'm coming up clarify, uh, coming up em empty? I don't understand this, the, uh, the question. Uh, that what actions to assist I'm coming up empty? Maybe you can change the question, uh, the way you write it. Uh, what actions can I take uh, in order for me to move forward? I'm, I'm not sure. Jules, we've got the Six of Cups, the Two of Wands in reverse, the Eight of Pentacles in the reversed. And this was for um, that person, for Saud to contact them. The Six of Cups, in this case, Jules, it would look like a return. The Six of Cups usually talks about a return. The Two of Wands in reverse. Two of Wands are, are like my fingers. You see my fingers? Looking at each other, there are, they are head to head. They are... Um, sort of butting heads or they are having a bone of contention, but they are in communication, but it's in reverse. And the Eight of Pentacles in reverse, it's not working. Eight of Pentacles is a working card. If it's in reverse, it is not working. So the cards are saying, well, a, re a return, the Six of Cups and the Two of Wands in reverse, doesn't look like it, but they're not, not going to be together. And the Eight of Pentacles reversed. It's not going to work. It's not going to work. Um, let's see. Um, yes, it, the, uh, Malak. Malak, it's a definite no. One of, uh, everyone said no. One of the people in the, in the chat said, for now, because there was a four of swords, but it looks like you're going to have to wait a long time if, if they do contact you. Okay, Sarika says, yes, Malak, we discovered that he may not contact you. That is no. Good, Sarika. Thank you for that. Thank you for that. Um, all right, let me go to Fangs. Let me see if we can understand what Fangs is saying. Okay, um, um, let's see. Do you see me being a successful tarot reader? I am I want to do this to have people, to help people and support myself financially just as a side job, Fangs. So let's see if Fangs could possibly make some money as a side job to help people and help themselves financially. So this too is a yes, no. There's a hidden, it's not only a yes, no, ladies and gentlemen. There is a question. Of course they can, uh, fangs can. But if we put out three cards, 
It will give us, of course, the feeling of whether it's positive or negative, but also it gives us more information. Malak, thank you for the question. Hello, Freya. All right, so let's put out three cards and see if Fangs is going to be a competitor for all of us. <laughs> let's see if there's 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 the, there's so much room in the world for tarot readers. Everybody should have a tarot deck in their hands because it helps us grow personally. This is my my feeling. It helps us grow personally, and it does help you understand things from a different perspective when you look at them. <laughs> thanks, thanks, Giggle. Um, I'm going to have to at some time. I'm going to have to cut it off because in Rome it's now midnight. I always wait late so I, I around the world I can get the Australians in the daytime. I can get most of the. Um, it, I can get the English too as well. It's a good time around that. But then I get you know midnight. Then I go crazy. I have to go to sleep soon. <laughs> Let's see. All right, so let's see, Fangs. Let's look at the cards for him, okay? Cards for Fangs. Let's see what it sh sh what they show. One, two, three. Okay, now look what I'm looking at. I see that, um, Fangs, I'm going to put you at the top. I see here the Nine of Wands. Remember the Nine of Wands? I said it was a heavy, heavy burden. Then we have this Eight of Swords. This Eight of Swords has come out before, right? And then we have the Two of Coins, all right? Now, the Two of Coins, we said it was something juggling, changing. So if he had or they have two jobs, it would be juggling them. And there would be a diff, you know, some of this, some of that, so that we can say that. However, this tells us more about you, Fangs. It tells us that you're in a place now that's quite difficult for you financially because the question talks about financially, all right? It does have a, a financial undertone to it. And, and this tells me that, it, it, that, that you're not exactly sure and you're not sure whether you should go into tarot, well, whether it would work. And this card tells you, well, that will be a lot of work because you're having to juggle. So let me get some more information because I'm not satisfied with that. So I pull out another card, another three cards, and I get the Page of Cups with an offering. You see that um, here, there's that cup being offered. You're offering help to someone. Oftentimes, it's emotional help because a cups talk of emotions. Then we have the Wheel of Fortune, and that definitely turns into the Three of Wands, taking stock. Usually the Wheel of Fortune will be a card that tells you, give it a go, give it a go, Fangs, give it a go. So you have to be patient with yourself. Let me see what else Jules has uh, spread here. Um, okay, so her spread is the Eight of Pentacles, the Two of Cups in Reverse, the Ten of Pentacles, work towards it. Yes, Jules, you may hit a couple of road bumps, but will be successful. All right, that's successful. The Ten of Pentacles does talk about success at the, at the end. So there's one, two, three, ultimately be successful. The Ten of Pentacles is in a card of abundance. The Two of Cups in reverse is, our, is the difficulty here because the Two of Cups in reverse gives you different options, and you might want to clarify that Two of Cups. But the Six of Pentacles, sorry, the Eight of, uh, that's an Eight, right? The Eight of Pentacles definitely is telling you to work towards it. Now, I'm going to pull these away. Um, let's see. Moonlight. Moonlight says, Giggle, I would put more work into yourself and don't invest in much in, uh, to wait wait and don't invest too much into jay do your homework on him before you let him back in okay so this is probably you guys talking to yourself um nicholas nicholas where are you nicholas is saying to fang for fang the king of swords emperor and the seven of pentacles under the six of pentacles well you've got to tell us what that means um, you've got to tell us what that means, what your interpretation is, Fang. What do you think? 
What do you think? The emperor is usually a card. This is this major arcana, that emperor. Usually is a person of strength, someone who's in charge, in control. Um, let's see. You're welcome, Fang. You're welcome. Okay. We've got Nirole with his oracle deck. I hope you don't feel left out. Balance, trust, hope. Yeah, that, that key word there is hope. Come on, Nicholas. Got to tell us what that's all about. Um, let's see. Just from CM. So read. What is the CM? I don't understand. You will have an inspired idea on how to bring your business out into the world. Who's that? What does that mean? Nesuno, I didn't understand what that is. Fang, um, Sarika's telling you, please, you check for me about my tarot business. <laughs> okay, so you know what, guys? This is what I'm going to do. Um, I'm going to say good night. And why don't you, the people who have been in my room, which I have to thank you so much for, um, I'm going to say, look, right underneath my video to each other. And this way, this is one way to start communicate, communicating and reading for each other. Even when you have to learn, you really do need a reading partner because that really makes you um, develop your skills. And um, that will really make it wonderful for you. I'm so thankful for you to be with me. And I'm going to have these uh, tarot 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 for uh, beginners once a month there will be the tarot for beginners once a month there'll be channeling once a month there'll be the mystic talks once a month as well so namaste ladies and gentlemen thank you thank you thank you i can't wait to come back bye bye everybody